So in the first uh, semester of second year of computer engineering at Tux, we take seven modules. The one that I'm on the way to right now is called EJJ. It's like report writing and technical communication. So it's a lot about English and grammar and how to properly format reports and how to uh, efficiently communicate your ideas. How's it, David? Good, good. Um, and it's a lot about how to write like engineering reports and how to clearly convey scientific ideas to uh, a more general public and how to do formatting and how to do English and grammar and summarizing and all of that kind of stuff. If I'm being honest with you, it's really easy and there's no exam, which is wonderful. Our main calculus module this semester is has been W258 and so we've been doing like complicated shit like real functions of several variables, multiple integrals, double, triple, polar, cylindrical, spherical coordinates, vector field, line integrals, Green's theorems, Stokes' theorem, the divergence theorem of Gauss we did today. Yeah, it's been a lot of like 3D shapes and an analysis and visualization. What do you guys think about maths 258? It's like, it's all kind of mixed into everything. Like, it's really hard to differentiate what you're doing at any given time. So it's really easy to do like the completely wrong thing by accident. 100%. That's like my take on it. But yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Like today, uh, there's like three theorems that can solve one thing, but you're yeah. supposed to like figure out which one would be the best, which would make it easier. But yeah, that it makes was it, interesting. It's not, okay, it's not as it. like Ryan says. It's easy to go wrong somewhere, one, but you're yeah, still on the right track, but you're actually wrong. Yeah, this is the subject that I haven't made exam entrance yeah. for, but I will go beg for on Monday. One of our subjects now at the beginning of second year is actually a first year course. It's NMC Material Sciences. It's really interesting, actually. Um, a lot about steels heat treatments, annealing, recovery, recrystallization, atomic structure, um, whew, yeah, like atomic behavior of materials, how to get different materials produced in different quantities, the behavior of materials, like lots on alloys, we did practicals on like hardness tests and that, microstructures, very interesting stuff. I'm actually going to write a test for it now. The subject that I've struggled with most, I think, this semester is data structures and algorithms. It's just been really difficult because it's a, a very practical based subject and so there's a lot of practicals and assignments to do on the computer, coding in Java. Um, and they're difficult concepts and there's a lot of edge case scenarios that you have to consider when coding these things. Um, we've done we did a bit of recursion, stacks, queues, easy stuff, and then a lot of focus on binary trees and balancing binary trees, treeps, multi-way trees, B-trees, tries, uh, lots on graphs and graph connectivity. Um, we did a little bit of sorting and hashing and data compression at the end of the semester, but big, big focus on B-trees and binary trees. And it, I found it really complicated because you had to do a lot of work on them, and it just took hours and hours and hours of work. It's only a 16-credit module, but it could have, could have easily been double that, um, the amount of hours it took. My one friend Jason, he actually made a graph, and half of his time this semester went to this one module, went to COS, COS 212. Uh, I say it's the most important computer science module that the varsity offers. It's also oh, it's very, very difficult. Um, I need a good mark in the exam to pass. Some of my friends have passed already because they, uh, they did well in all the assignments and that. I often got a zero for the assignment despite doing hours and hours of work and, you know, getting the project to like 80, 90 percent completion but missing a few key lines of code or understanding and so getting zero on the automated marking system which is also what makes the subject so hard. So yeah, data structures and algorithms. Very interesting, but not my favorite more, not my favorite course this semester. One of the more interesting courses we've been doing this semester in computer engineering is ERR or electricity and electronics. So we've mostly been focusing on AC circuits this semester, so a lot of sinusoidal analysis and that and how complex power works. Um, you know, apparent power, complex power, rah, all of that stuff. But we've also had a large component on DC motors and machines and then magnetism and motors at the very end of the semester. Also, we had to build that DC motor for our practicals. That was really cool. Um, and I'm actually going to an ERR test right now on motors, which I don't know a lot about. Mikey boy! The other maths course that we've done this semester is WTW256. Uh, That's differential equations. And so a differential equation is an equation that uh, has relationships in it or that in includes der derivatives of another function. Um, and the relationships to that and how you can change between different forms of functions and that. And so we've done um, 
second and higher order linear differential equations. We've done first order differential equations. We did the, we learned how to use the Laplace transform. I really like that. I did a lot better in the second semester test because of Laplace. Um, solving linear differential equations, linear systems of differential equations, using some matrices and that to the last half of the semester now. Um, so interesting and uh, apparently very applicable to later engineering to do with um, applications like flow rate uh, and it just the rates of things and speed and measurements of engineering principles, things like that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know too much. I haven't been doing too well in the subject, but I'm doing much better now. And then the last module that computer engineering students have to do uh, in the first semester of the second year is JCP. It's a community service module. You've got to do 40 hours of community service somewhere within the year. I've already done mine, EBIT week. I'm actually working on the video at the moment. We're presenting it on Monday, and then it's completely done, which has 40 hours of community service whether it's working with animals or people or building stuff or teaching people maths or that, you, you can pick, you design your own project, get it approved and then implement it. It's a really nice public service and it's, uh, yeah, I guess it's good to build some social responsibility. And yeah, that's all the courses we take uh, at the beginning of first semester, second year computer engineering. Uh, well, it's a good semester, it's really long and tough, especially because of the maths and cos combined. I don't know, I find maths difficult and that it's hard to visualize. And that cause just takes up hours and hours and hours of time. I think we've had the hardest engineering degree this semester. Chemical, I mean, it's harder on average, but this semester, yeah, it's been uh, it's been something else. If you look at this meme over here, we're at the top of the rankings for this semester in terms of getting chowed by the course. So make of that what you will. But yeah, thank you for watching and for finding out what computer engineering is about in this semester. I've had a good time, uh, but I'm ready to go to bed. So thanks for watching.